Hello everybody, my name is Raphael Walter and in this uh, video I'll be showing you how you could uh, use the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite uh, to integrate IDOCs coming from an S4 HANA system into, for example, in this case, SFTP system. I'm using a Google Cloud Platform. It was very easy to set up for me. So as you can see, I'll be taking out from the S4 system, be using an IDOC and here I'll be using this uh, connection and I'll be using uh, Debmas uh, customer information sending into uh, here. Uh, I'll do uh, some uh, modification, a content modification, and then I'll send it to my SFTP server. OK, so this is very basic, basic stuff that I'll be doing here. And uh, once I'm finished, I'm going to deploy and test it. So all the steps is basically all the configuration steps you have to do uh, to get there. So we'll go into our system and first uh, we'll have to define a logical system. So I'll use for that a transaction BD54. And as you see, I defined this uh, SCPI uh, system. Then uh, once you've done and you've defined this logical system, you will launch transaction SLE. And you will have to go into the modeling and implementing business process. And you're going to maintain distribution model. And uh, you will go here and you will uh, create a new, uh, a new model here. So you'll create a model view. In this case, I'm using this SCP Inte. And once you've created this model view, so here you'll just give it a name and a technical name, uh, you will add a message type. And this message type, you will choose the model that you've just uh, created. Then you will choose as a sender your logical system here, the S4 HANA system. So in this case, uh, here, this would be my system here. And then the receiver, which will also be the, the logical system we defined in BD54, and a message type. And in this case, since I'm going to be using Debmas, this is what we're going to be uh, defining. So once you've done this, you will need uh, to uh, create the trust here. So we'll use transaction as trust. OK, so uh, to do the transaction as trust, Going back into uh, the cloud system, here I can't show you, but there is the little certificate, okay, and for your connection, and you can go into the certificate here. Uh, you just clicked, I clicked the little lock button here on the left of my URL. You click on the certificate, and here you have your certificates, you have the details you have the certificate path and you see you have three certificates here so what you're going to do is you're going to select each and every one so first this one then this one then this one okay and then you're going to for this one i'll go into the details copy to file and then i'll just select the base 64 encoder next and then save it to a file and i'll do the same thing for this one i will view the certificate go into the details and copy to file etc once you've done this for this uh, this one here, the CA and the root, you will go back into the transaction. And basically, you will go into the SSL client uh, anonymous. OK. And uh, here in this, you will add. You will import the three files. OK, so you will go here, add one file. And then you will you will then also uh, add to certificate list, and you will do this with the three uh, certificates that you've gotten. Once this is done, you will go into uh, transaction SM59, and this is to uh, create the uh, RFC connection connection. We are connecting to an external server, so you will select this, and you see I've defined my uh, RFC connection here. Uh, what you need to do is you define the target system. You'll use port 443, which is the HTTPS, and then the path prefix, which is uh, slash CF, CXF slash, and then the, uh, the, the, the prefix that you've defined in, in your, in your uh, integration flow. Remember when I was here, I 
I define in the connections, I use debmass05. This is exactly uh, what you'll be using. The CF, CXF will be added automatically. You don't need to define this. And once this is done, what you'll do is you'll go into the logon and security, and define your basic authentication here. And another really important thing is uh, to set the protocol to anonymous uh, as anonym SSL client, which we just uh, defined earlier. Then you could do the connection test and see that everything is working correctly. So there are a few more steps that need to be done. I'm sorry, but this configuration is uh, quite, uh, there are a few steps here. So first uh, we'll go into a transaction WE21. And this is where I will define the ports in the IDAL processing. So we'll go into the XML HTTP. You see here, I've defined an SCPI port. Uh, so uh, I've just given it the RFC disc destination that we just created in SM59. I've chose the content type as application and a, a sub protocol version one, etc. And then that's going to be the last one that we do. I'm gonna go into transaction uh, WE20. And here we're going to create a partner profile. We'll go into the logical system, which is partner type logical system, go here, and then we'll create a new partner profile, which I've already done. Here you'll define your agent uh, language and you will go and add an album parameter. So you will click here. And once you do this, you will choose your message type, the receiver port and the basic type and you will save this um, so um, once this is done we're basically uh, we're finished so just to show you uh, we just need to say pass the idoc immediately i'm not going to collect them i want to, to to test it immediately and uh, and that's it nothing else so the message type will be uh, dead mass okay uh, the receiver port of course you need to specify the receiver port that we used in uh, SM59, and and that's it. And uh, the adopt type, of course, which is going to be uh, dev mass zero five. Okay. So uh, once this is done, you can you can exit and you can leave. So this has already been done, and now uh, to verify this, we'll go into transaction <laughs> BD12. So in transaction BD12, we're actually going to send the IDOC. So I'm going to choose a specific customer. So I'll go into uh, company code and I'll choose this customer, customer 13. The output type is going to be uh, dev mass. And my logical system is going to be the logical system that I've shown you here, which is SCPI. So uh, once this is done, uh, you can't see the execute button which is right down here okay and then I'm gonna execute this so of course I've deployed uh, on the SCPI part I've deployed my uh, and I'm just gonna show it to you this was deployed here if we go into the monitoring we'll see uh, our integration flow right up and running and I'll actually uh, activate the trace so that we can really see what's going to go through okay and now i'm ready really ready to execute okay so apparently the message was being sent if we want we could verify this okay i'm just gonna put it a little bit down so you can see the transaction we05 i'm gonna see oh, this is strange I'm going to execute this and I see I have two IDOCs. I've just done a test before. Uh, the one I want to see, we see they are in status 03, but I could double click and then see the information if I want it. So if we go back into the system, uh, we see we activated the trust. We can go into the monitor message presentation here. And uh, as we saw, there were two execution. This is the latest one and uh, it was processed everything was okay we can go into the trace this is the part that i really like about uh, scpi the monitoring is really powerful 
and we see uh, the message that we sent to uh, my SFTP system and the payload, the actual payload. If we go into uh, the Google Cloud Platform, uh, we will actually uh, be able to see uh, we have a few uh, files here and I could go into the right, uh, test zero two one zero zero one zero two yes and this is the IDOC that has been sent so basically uh, this is all there is to it it's I try to make it quick as possible if you want you have the whole blog that explains to you how this was all done but uh, it's pretty straightforward and pretty powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Cheers.